ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب اليه اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه ومن دعا بدعوته الى يوم الدين اما بعد فيا عباد الله اتقوا الله اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله وطاعته لعلكم تفلحون اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تاكلوا اموالكم بينكم بالباطل الا ان تكون تجاره ولا تقتلوا انفسكم ان الله كان بكم رحيما صدق الله العظيم fellow muslims blessed by Allah the almighty let us be aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by performing all his commands and avoiding all his prohibitions may we all emerge as being among those who are aware in the hereafter the member today shall deliver a sermon title Protecting consumer rights, ensuring public benefits. Fellow Muslims, blessed by Allah the Almighty. Consumer rights is a form of regulation that has been formulated by the government to protect the rights and concern of the customers. It is closely related to the rights concerning property, such as the right to replacement of goods, the right to repayment of debt, the right to services, and the like. Based on the Consumer Empowerment Index CEI 2021, maintained by the Ministry of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs, KBD and HGP, Malaysian consumers are at the medium level of 60.1%. This shows that the society has yet to fully discover and practice their rights as consumers when making decisions or when taking action if there is any breach of those rights. Indeed. In Islam, the act of selling and buying is not only a transaction involving goods or services, but it is also has the aim of ensuring that each element within it, such as consent and concurrence, are protected. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala iterated in Surah An-Nisa verse 29, which was read at the beginning of the sermon as follows, which means, O believers, do not devour one another's wealth illegally, but rather trade by mutual consent, and do not kill each other or yourself. Surely Allah is ever merciful to you. The matter has been clearly discussed in the books of jurisprudence, written by renowned Islamic scholars. It is right, it is right known as tia, a choice which is given to consumers either to continue with or to abort a transaction. The formulation of Qiyab is based on hadith narrated by Al-Imam Al-Bukhari from Sayyidina Hakim bin Hizam radiallahu an, who reported that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, Al-Bayyani bil Qiyab ma lam yatafarraqa fa'in sadaqa bayyana burika lahuma fi bayyayma wa ya kathaba wa kathaba muhiqat barakatu bayyayma which means Two persons who sell and buy may choose for as long as both have not parted ways, or until they have parted ways. If both are honest, good in their deeds and words or description, then just the transaction will be blessed by Allah the Almighty. If they hide matters and lie to each other, then blessedness in the transaction will not be there. This shows that Islam is complete religion and relevant for all times in respect of safeguarding the good and benefit for all mankind. Therefore, as consumers, we must realize that rules and responsibility that comes with consumer rights, this will help us in making decisions and avoiding ourselves from being involved in dishonest, doubtful, and unfair transaction. Fellow Muslims blessed by Allah the Almighty, as consumers, we have eight rights which must understand and practice namely the right to basic needs, the right to save goods and services, the right to information, the right to make a choice, the right to voice opinion, the right to compensation, the right to consumer education, 
and the right to live within a safe and healthy environment. Therefore, we must act wisely by reporting any form of doubt regarding any crimes, product, service, or similar matters to the authorities. Hiding or letting such issues carry on will only bring a bad impact upon the society. Fellow Muslims, blessed by Allah the Almighty, on the 18th of March, every year, the World Consumer Rights Day is celebrated globally with the aim of fighting for consumer rights all over the world through the provision of education and understanding of consumer issues. Malaysia is also on board in making the 15th of March as its National Consumer Rights Day in honor of the consumers within our country. The theme for this year's celebration is consumers' digitalization, which is in line with the COVID-19 pandemic that requires a considerable number of transactions such as payment, sales and purchases, and the like, to be made online. The government, through the Ministry of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs, has developed various applications for the benefits of consumers, such as the price catcher application that is used to compare price of goods at different premises to enable consumers to get the best price, and the My Sales Tracker application which is developed to supply information on various sales to the public within the locality. Besides that, the government has also created a campaign channel which may be accessed at any time, such as through WhatsApp and the e one portal. If consumers have any dispute with the seller, whether they feel cheated or they do not get the desired level of service, compensation demands may be made through the Malaysian Consumer Claims Tribunal, TTPM. Therefore, it is important for consumers to equip themselves with digital consumer knowledge, especially in terms of security and protection from threats of scams, hackers, and other similar things. Fellow Muslims, blessed by Allah the Almighty, looking at the increasing trend of COVID-19 infections, the member would like to remind everyone to continue practicing self-destruction and to take the booster shot as part of our efforts. Indeed, taking the booster shot will be able to optimally protect us so that we continue to be free from being severely affected by COVID-19. May our efforts, supplication and surrender be approved by Allah the Almighty and bring us protection and security. Fellow Muslims, blessed by Allah the Almighty. To conclude this sermon, the member would like to invite everyone here today to look at the following three matters as our guidance and reminder. First, consumer rights is a form of regulation that is formulated by the government to protect consumer rights and concern. Second, consumers must equip themselves with knowledge so that they may protect themselves and safeguard their rights as consumers. Third, perform our responsibilities as consumers by reporting to the authorities any doubts on product and services through the various platforms provided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared in Surah al baqarah Verse 1 double 8. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا تنكلوا أموالكم بينكم بالباطل وتبلوا بها إلى الحكام لتأكلوا فريقا من أموال الناس بالإثم وأنتم تعلمون صلى الله العظيم which means do not consume one's and others wealth unjustly or deliberately bribe authorities in order to devote a portion of others property Knowing that it is a sin. Barakallahu li alakum bil Quran al Azim. Wa nafa'ani wa yakum bima fihi min al ayati al dhikr al hakim. Wa taqabbala minni wa minkum tilawata. Inna hu huwa al sabi al alim. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al Azim li wa lakum. Wa li sahir al muslimin wa al muslimat. Wa al mu'minin wa al mu'minat. Al ahya'i minhum wa al amwat. Fa astaghfiru. Inna hu huwa al ghafur al rahim.